Wow. What a morning. What a university. Sir Chancellor, Sir Chief Justice, Cabinet Secretary, as the faculty and grandions, ladies and gentlemen, I had to come. Because the story has been exactly as elaborated by that wonderful lady, Masi Kebene. I'm quite sure when she came, she thought she had been sent to Savo National Park. <laughs> but we were there as the community and the regional leadership to ensure that what was originally the dream of Ukai was actually realized. And today, when I heard, Mr. Chancellor, that you are having the very first graduation ceremony, I said, and I thank Professor Muluvi, very innovative first vice chancellor, for inviting me. along with my other colleagues. And we just came, first of all, to celebrate this tremendous achievement. And after listening to the strategic plan as elaborated, I have no doubt in my mind that this will be not only one of the great institutions in the region, and I, didn't, I was listening very carefully to what Professor Moluvio said, that he hopes this will be one of the great institutions in the region. I ask myself, which region? I hope he's not talking about Southeastern Kenyan region, and I hope he's not talking about Kenya, but the entire of the East African region and the African continent. <laughs> Therefore, we are here to encourage you. But you know the trailblazers, congratulations. You could have run away to Kericho, I suspect Kebene may come from that part of our country, which is greener. And then she comes and then ends up in Kitui town and eventually she's convinced by that watchman to come and this is Umefika. Therefore, this wonderful story must continue. And the growth I can see will be exponential. It is going to be geometric. It is going, you talk about 5,000 students. I once visited one of Africa's largest universities, the University of Alexandria in Egypt. It prides itself of a population of 108,000. I think that is probably one of the largest I've been able to, to visit. There could be others. And therefore, first of all, 10,000 acres. You can do anything. The strategic investors that have been invited, I was sitting next to my old uh, uh, university law lecturer, who is now the Chief Justice, <laughs> Dr. Willy Mutunga, and he, when you guys were clapping, he said, I hope you guys know why you are clapping. When you told him strategic investors come, it might mean that you will bear a certain amount of responsibility. But it is a wonderful story. And therefore, we are here to say, even those, I don't know whether, Mr. Chancellor, you have ever thought of having world-class, and I mean world-class, stadium at this place. So that anybody wanting to do world-class games will not go to Nairobi. They will come to Ukai, to Seku. They will come to Seku. You can host anything in your 10,000 acres of land. Therefore, dream big and it will be achieved. And I'm sure that the sky will be the limit. Governor Malombe, I want to congratulate you because I was told when you came and gave that wonderful speech um, and you gave that lecture and you gave the commitment. I want to agree with the professor they should go beyond the gate and light up this place. Let it be lit to the glory, not just of Kitui County, but the whole country. I must conclude my remarks by saying, therefore, the importance of devolution, county governments. Professor Japwe Kaimenyi was indeed my uh, University of Nairobi EMA, 
and you have a whole territory of a ministry continue to apply yourself i am happy to hear you say that you have no intention whatsoever of increasing university fees because a lot of these students come from very poor very poor backgrounds and we want everybody to realize their full potential you know some of us have stood for free not just free primary education which present kebaki and some of us did realize but even free secondary education and free university education because it's achievable when you go through this strategic routing professor muluvi have taken it is achievable because we must lift our country out of poverty my final remark mr chancellor is that when we conceptualized the idea of seku seuko professor munabu and your team we really congratulate you because you did well and i think the chairman has adequately been able to recognize that fact mining do you know something this county in the next 10 years will probably be the richest county in kenya and uh, mark my word and as kitui becomes the richest county only please remember the chancellor the, the chairman has told you don't allow money to make you <laughs> make money make wealth but don't allow wealth to go into your head be a rich county but only aimed at lifting the quality of lives of our people therefore mining in my view i see this given uh, prominence of place please make it a major if possible even a faculty so that we can exploit what is one of the major resources in this county we are now faced with yet another major challenge of famine professor monavu and your team how i wish you could all move to wikiduki irrigation scheme and such like schemes because that was the other dream to make our people self sufficient when it comes to food production we cannot continue year in year out talking about irrigated agriculture and yet we continue to rely heavily on rain fed agriculture i could go on and on because i believe i belong to that category professor kaimenye my friend describes as politicians i call them political leaders but we once again once again graduates congratulations you went out of your comfort zone this is where you are graduating here today if you stayed in your comfort zone you wouldn't even have made us as proud as we feel today therefore may you go out there and conquer may you become innovators judge may you become yes even judges may you become job creators and not job seekers because you i think you've been given adequate tools of engagement once again congratulations long live seuko chancellor you could not have begun with a better chancellor than titus naikuni who as you know flies in the sky and flies very very high god bless you